Hello everyone, uh, just got a quick unboxing video I guess here of the Call of Duty Black Ops Precision Aim Controller by Mad Cats. Now this is the 360 version, uh, there is a PS3 version and it's meant to be not half bad so yeah let's have a look. So yeah, on the back of the box uh, and there's the front. Yes it was $80 so quite an expensive controller for a wired controller but to justify it I do need a controller for my PC for a certain certain few games Urgh. this plastic is always so hard to get open uh, so yeah I just started Black Ops it's it's pretty different it plays a lot different to Modern Warfare 2 and one way for one and World at War and all of them. So it's fun though. Alright, so flap down, there it is. Uh, it comes out. You get what's this? Some sort of instructions. Plug it into your Xbox and play. Awesome. Alright. That's that. Alright, so here it is. It, it looks fairly similar to the standard 360 controller. Uh, I'll just point out a few things. It has a D-pad, noticeably different. Still feels a bit spongy, but at least it's a cross instead of the round circle one. Uh, start and back buttons, very clicky on there. Uh, guide button, fair standard. Control sticks, now they're meant to be more precise. Then just a standard 360 controller version, and underneath here, that white that actually lights up red. So there's red LEDs under both of these sticks here. But yeah, I haven't plugged it in. And my Xbox is a bit too far away. I oh, know. I got one behind me. I'll turn that on. So I'll plug it in a sec. Uh, rubber grips on the side here. Um, so apparently they're supposed to make it feel more, more like you're holding a weapon, not a controller. But yeah, it still feels like a controller to me. Might get a bit sweaty if you have extended online sessions. Alright, let's have a look. Face buttons. Now these are actually flat. You can see there, they're nice and flat. I actually quite prefer that. The 360 ones are sort of rounded. Hang on a sec, I've got quite a few controllers around the place. Alright, so here, here's your standard one. You can see there, can't really see too well, but they're definitely rounded. Very rounded feel. So, alright, hang on, let's just do it side by side. So that's that's what they look like. So it's a pretty similar layout. Fairly standard. Now, if we move over to the back, this is where it gets interesting. So the main selling feature, of course, is these two combat buttons. There's one here and one here. And what that allows you to do is re remap face buttons. So say you get, here it says uh, X, I can't really say X, Y, and RP, so which is uh, it's meant to be precision aiming or something. So anyway, so just leave it standard, and when you press this button here, that will make your the right thumbstick, your aiming thumbstick, more precise. So it will move slower across the screen. So if you're sniping, then it's supposed to make you get better headshots because it's going slower, more precise. And you can change it to X and Y, and this one can be changed to A and B. So you can replace this. So if you've got knife. Is your B button, that's how I play, just pop that over by one. And so when you're playing, you can just press like the back button instead of taking your thumbsticks off. Now, it is a bit in a funny spot because like when I hold my controller, it's sort of like all bunched up. So if you want to hit this button, can't really see it, it's really hard to reach. So you have to like use your back finger. It's, it's a bit awkward, but you know. I don't know if I'll get use it. I mean, I could play fine without it, but whatever. Um, triggers. Now, these triggers are fairly good. I reckon they're very similar to the standard one. This, this is a bit stiffer, but that's good though, because if they're too spongy, it feels a bit rubbish. Like this, my right trigger on this controller is really loose. So, yeah, it'll probably happen over time, but whatever. These bu bumper buttons, whatever you want to call them. There, they feel excellent. They are really nice. These are really mushy and crap. These ones, 
they're rubbish. Underneath here, this is just one piece of plastic, the RB and LB, that they're connected underneath this hard piece of plastic here. And so they just sort of rock backwards and forwards. That's how these ones work. These ones here, dedicated buttons, much better. The sticks, the sticks feel good. The underneath here, this gap. Shit, that's terrible. All right, the gap from when you go from there to there, that's about the same as on that from there to there. So that's good. So if you're really used to this, pick up this. It will feel very similar. I did have another. It was another one. It was a blue one, a Hori, or Hori. It was a turbo controller. It was blue. These sticks, the, this this gap here was massive. So this stick would go to the cross, but then it'll go way further. So it'll be like all the way down here, and that that was horrible to use. So no, it feels very nice. Last thing, this is a braided cord. So can't really tell focus is a bit crap but it's braided so that means it's not just plastic see like this headphone cable that's just plastic this has got a braiding a material over the top of it so much higher quality uh, USB gold plated for no apparent reason and a breakaway so that's pretty much it I'll just plug it in real quick here so you guys can see the the LEDs in action so there it is there they're looking very nice. It would be cool if you could change the colour, or, I don't know, or if they represented health, they went from green to red when you were hit and you came back, or I'm sure if someone would do something funky. On PC, you might be able to customise that, so I might make some cool stuff. But yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. That's the, a quick look, and a well, quick, a long look, and open up, and yeah, and oh yeah, last but not least, it's got a matte finish. This has got this, like a textured finish. <laughs> I've thrown this one around a few times. Um, but nah, this one's a matte finish. It feels very nice in your hands. Very, very good. I haven't, haven't played with it yet, but no. Definitely recommend it if you need a, a decent controller for your PC. I know you can get a PC version of this, but it's modeled off the PS3 version. So your thumbs, yeah, your second thumbstick would be down here, and your D-pad would be up here. And, and it's a bit different. It's got a stick. So it looks more like this. So yes, I own all the consoles, <laughs> and I've got too many controllers to count. So thank you for watching, and happy hunting on Call of Duty, and have fun guys, stay safe.